Listen to me. If you were on your spiritual journey, I want you to watch this. It is a deception. I found this documentary from the 1980s. Watch this. I've interviewed young people around the world who on drug trips were contacted by spirit beings that initiated them into astrology, Hinduism, yoga, transcendental meditation, gave them a mantra. They didn't have to pay Maharishi a dime. The spirits also gave them psychic powers. Since the 1950s and 60s, millions of young, young people in the Western world have been initiated into sorcery. In the New Testament, the Greek word for sorcery is pharmakia. A sorcerer is a person who takes consciousness altering drugs in order to contact spirit beings to gain supernatural powers. The book of Revelation seems to indicate that in the last days, sorcery would be revived. I say that again. The book of Revelation seems to indicate that in the last days, sorcery would be revived. Remember that the drug user today is the university professor, the doctor, lawyer, psychiatrist, leading politician. We're being fed the sorcerer's philosophy from the top down. The same message almost always comes through. Even the Space Brothers and UFOs telepathically communicate the same occult philosophy about karma, reincarnation, that God is not personal but a force, the very lies that the serpent told to Eve in the Garden of Eden. UFO cults that I've contacted claim to have received telepathic warnings that when the Space Brothers take over this earth, for our good of course, everyone who does not cooperate with the new one world government that they will impose upon us will be snatched off of this earth by UFOs, an apparent attempt to explain away the rapture before it occurs. Satan and demons have a lie for everyone. But young children and adults are particularly susceptible to the temptation to dabble in the occult and to believe in magic powers. All these people having spiritual awakenings at one time. It's not a spiritual awakening. It was prophesied in the Bible. And Jesus said that he would call his people and let them know the hour was upon us. It was our time to minister and to help save as many souls as we can. And in haunted houses and the ghostly shapes and shadows that appear on the walls in children's bedrooms and fascinate and draw them into the occult are demonic manifestations. So are UFOs. The modern Western mind is being psychologically programmed to accept the religion of the Antichrist, which I believe will be a merger between modern science and Eastern mysticism or occultism. This trend is moving at an accelerating and alarming rate. The growing acceptance of transcendental meditation and other forms of yoga, even by Christians, is only one indication. And this leads to a deepening involvement in the occult without even realizing it. I hope you take this to heart.